Welcome to your inspirational astrology horoscope for Wednesday, February 6, 2013. I'm astrologer David Palmer here to illuminate the collective consciousness. Wow, there's a lot happening today. Mercury, Neptune, and Mars all conjunct in Pisces. Understanding our spiritual motivation, our direction that we are leading with in our lives. Where are we going? I don't know. That's the whole like funny thing is it's like, well, I don't know. Pisces. <laughs> our intuition, our gut, letting the crazy dreams we're having, the big weird daydreams that we're feeling, the big media storm that the universe is sending our way like oh my god it could be this and it's that and this image and that image and I just got this epiphany and it just came out of nowhere this is where we need to go this is where we just need to follow our guts and go with wherever this new information is coming in because right now Neptune okay Neptune is a powerful ass receptor of really big information spiritual information weird visual information, emotional information, all this blah, 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 blah. I love doing that, I'm sorry, but that's just spicy. Blah, 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 blah. And you know what it is? It's like, with Mercury on top of here and Mars on top of here, we're getting all this new energy of like, what is the universe sending our way and let's go that way. Let's just go that way. I dare you to try to go in the direction that a dream is telling you to go, what your imagination is telling you to go, what your emotional state is, toward, is wanting you to go. Just fucking put the hammer down, for real, in that area. But what's very interesting is we are caught off a little bit of guard today. That's because the moon comes into Capricorn today and our emotions shift from, you know, really big and, you know, yesterday was a kind of a high vibration day, a lot of expansion. You know, Venus right now is expanding a lot. There's a lot of positive energy and, you know what, connecting with new relationships, really finding out new ways to, you know, step into more love in our life, having to experiment. You know, we can't find love the same old way, right? We gotta find new ways, we've got to find new ways to connect, new people to find all this love, you know. There's a lot of new energy coming in, but with the moon in Capricorn, it's like, oh, we need to take some shit seriously here. The moon comes in and it's like, most importantly, it's time to plan, it's time to make some decisions, it's time to really take a plan of action. That's because the moon taps in to all this Mars, Neptune, and Mercury energy. But Mar or the moon is going to square Uranus. It's going to conjunct Pluto tonight. So as we emotionally go, all right, I'm planning to take my intuition. All right, this is where I'm going. My dream said this. My intuition saying this. You go this direction. The universe throws in a hurl curveball tonight where it's like, then the moon goes, well, oh my God, I'm impatient as hell and I really want this. This is what my ego wants. This is what I want. There's all this energy of I want this, I want that. And it's like, I want to do something now. I want to break free emotionally. I don't want to have to wait. I don't want to have to sit here. I don't want to have to like go off the whim of, you know, some weird sighting I saw on the back of a McDonald's cup in the parking lot of 7-Eleven. Like, do I really have to go that way? Yes, we do. That's what we need to take seriously. We need to not let our emotions, especially, want to rebel and just do what we feel like our ego wants today. This is where we need to chill out. We need to take seriously the direction spirit is taking us and learn to go with the flow, baby. We are riding a huge new wave from the universe. Venus today making a perfect trine and a perfect sextile. Still today over to the abundant Jupiter and the crazy wild good old Uranus energy. So what does this mean? This is giving us the biggest, greatest energy for us to connect to new people, for us to find a new way for love, for us to find a new way to connect to the values we want in our life. It is by having the big new attitude, seeing the glass half full, starting to put the facts together that, hmm, spirit is leading the right direction. You know, epiphanies are coming right now, the right things. This is where if your mind is on board, with, you know what, the new ways to feel, and it's on board with becoming the new self, one that's not afraid to lead with the flow, one that's going to take seriously the new flow of energy of where to go, then you have an all-star day. But if you start to get really uptight 
or want to rebel emotionally and not want to change. You just want what you feel that you want or that you're really caught up in, you know, restriction or you don't want to do a plan or you don't want to like really look at the, the solid structure that the universe is about to give us, then this day can be kind of hard and it will actually zap you in the butt because Venus in Aquarius, even though it's innovative and great, it's detached and cold. Relationships right now can really teach you through just them walking out the door like, woo, whoa, that person's not texting me anymore, not calling me anymore, what happened? And this gives us the opportunity to really observe new facts with our relationships now. Like, you know what? These people, they don't leave whenever I ask or whenever I call or whenever I test. These people do. Out of here. And then you've got Venus and Uranus hooking up, which is like, oh, there's all this great energy I could have in my own self. If I really find new value systems, try new things with relationships, try new values. What? Maybe I should value something new that I've never valued before. Maybe I should look at myself in a new way that I've never looked before. And you know what? I need to trust that the message that was on the wall of that toilet seat at the Arco AM freaking PM might have the answer to all the questions in my whole freaking life because I was at the right time at the right place and it was right when my best friend called and told me this and it all synced up perfect that's where we need to lead today dun, 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 dun. go in that direction go in that direction let the universe you know did you ever watch that uh, Batman movie with the Riddler with Jim Carrey I liked that movie as a kid it was real chill but what this really offers us is like, we're kind of putting on his little weird question machine. I forgot what that thing was called. But it's not negative, it's good. It's what's like, like all this crazy weird, oh my gosh, my dreams, all my day visions. You know, this is where you trust. Like, it's like, wow, I just saw myself sitting on a talk show with whatever. Is that weird? No, that can very much happen. You know the direction to lead to make that happen. I know all that stuff's happening in my life. Check out my website, david-palmer.com. I have my buy one, get one 15-minute reading free right now till Sunday this week. Check it all out at my website if you want a one-on-one. -on -one. Life coaching, astro coaching is what I call it. All of that is on my website, david-palmer.com. Let's change your life in 30 days, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.